I woke up just now worrying that you might wonder why I never did mention her, your mother. You might be thinking the wrong way on that and believe what they told you. You being such a tiny thing when it happened, how could you know the truth of it? He gets up then and he goes over by the TV set. Far enough so the rope is tugging at me. Then he's back and he's got a book in his hands. You know what this is, boy? The Bible, I say. You can tell that in the dark, can you? That's fine. What I'm going to do, I'm putting my right hand on this Bible, see? Yes, sir, I see. And I'm putting the other hand over my heart. You can see that. Yes, sir, I can. That's good, boy. Now listen up. I, Kenneth David Kane, do swear by all that's holy that I did not murder this boy's mother. And if that isn't the truth, may God strike me dead. I'm waiting to see if something happens, and nothing does. The room is the same. It smells of old lady perfume and missing cats, and my hands and feet are still tied by a rope to his waist. Satisfied? He says. I want to answer him, but my throat closes up, and my tongue is so dry I can't hardly open my mouth. I keep thinking about heavy, how heavy his hand is on that Bible. I asked you a question, boy. Uh, yes, sir. I say I'm satisfied. He lies back down after that, and pretty soon he's breathing heavy again. I can't sleep, though. I just sit there like a lump until the sun comes up, trying not to think about things I don't want to remember.